Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compounds part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study carbon, allotropes of carbon, we will study organic compounds, we will study hydrocarbons. In hydrocarbons, we will study saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. We will study namings of hydrocarbons. We will study isomers. We will also study homologous series. We will study some functional group of hydrocarbons. We will study coal and petroleum. We will study some important carbon compounds. And we will also study soap and nitrogen. These are the topics we will cover in this chapter. So the first thing that comes to our mind is what is carbon? Carbon, you must have seen one of the form of carbon is the coal. Coal you must have seen in your life. So this is one of the form of carbon. Carbon is nothing but it is an element and it is a non-metal. Please note, carbon is a non-metal. Carbon is generally a poor conductor of heat and electricity. That's why I've used most of the carbon because there is an exception to it which will cover it. But in most of the cases, carbon is poor conductor of heat and electricity. The name carbon is derived from the word Latin word called carbo and carbo means coal because if you think of carbon, the first thing that comes to your mind is coal, right? And that was the first discovered form of carbon and this word carbon came from this coal. And you will be surprised to know that earth has only 0.02% of carbon. And still we have a separate chapter for carbon. We'll be have, we'll have a whole branch actually. But the branch is called inorganic chemistry. This whole branch of uh, chemistry deals with carbon compounds. We have only 0.02%. That's a very small percentage we have for carbon in the earth crust. But still we have a huge importance of carbon in our daily life. We'll study that why we have a special privilege for carbon but before that you should know that carbon has only 0.02 percentage in this earth crust if you talk about the earth crust if you talk about atmosphere it has only 0.03 percent of carbon dioxide right still we talk about global warming carbon dioxide increase and all but if you see it has only 0.03 percent of carbon dioxide the atmosphere and there are various forms of carbon uh, C12, C13, C14, uh, if you see these are various isotopes of carbon, this guy is I think radioactive but we will be more focusing on this guy C12, C12 carbon right, this is normal carbon is C12 carbon so C14 is radioactive yeah. So we will be focusing more on the C12 carbon and they are all different isotopes of carbon, you must be knowing what are isotopes, isotopes are uh, elements which have same atomic number but different atomic mass for example each of these has atomic number 6 but atomic mass is different and then they exhibit different property right so they are called isotopes so carbon has three isotopes we will be focusing on C12 one now the question that should come to our mind is why should we study carbon I told carbon is a non-metal good carbon is not going to be good Carbon has only 0.02% in atmosphere and 0.03, sorry, 0.02% in earth crust and 0.03% in atmosphere. Good. Big deal? Nothing. But then why should we study carbon? Why have a, we have a special branch of uh, chemistry that deals only with carbon? So if you see this diamond, you must have seen in your mother's uh, finger or somewhere. Uh, this, this diamond is a very precious thing and the lady's um, special friend she called they are actually nothing but carbon the coal is carbon the graphite which is used in batteries they are carbon and they are good conductor of electricity good conductor so this was one exception where uh, this is good conductor of electricity we'll explain why it is good conductor where we'll explain or will study graphite and diamonds in detail they will explain why it is good conductor of electricity you see uh, the whole lot of material around us, the plastic bags, the plastic bottles, this different plastic bottles, the water jar, the CD compact disc, all these are nothing but carbon. They are all carbon. The soap which we use is carbon. Even the liquid soap which we use is also carbon. The detergents which we use in our home, that's also 
common. A lot of cloth fabrics are also common. Not all, but a good number of them are common, right? We have the games which we play, right? They are all made of plastics or sometimes it's uh, paper kind of things. They are also carbon. So most of the games which we play, uh, which we have played when we were kids, they are all made of carbon. The pens, the paper on which we write during exams or also we take notes, that is carbon. The pencil with which we write, it's carbon. It has, this guy is graphite. The eraser which we use to erase, that is also carbon. The tea we drink, the sugar, the sugar, the sugar hair which we add in the tea, that's also carbon. When you fire the wood, the wood, this wood is also carbon. The alcohol which uh, people drink, which they should not use, uh, drink is not good for health, but a lot of people still drink. The alcohol that is used for drink is also carbon. The petrol is the most critical thing. All the vehicles run on petrol, all of machines run on petrol, the generator, the, uh, the diesel generator, the electric generator runs on diesel. So all these uh, things around us, it runs on petrol. The train, the car, the bus, and you see a lot of uh, uh, issues happen when the petrol price goes up, the government calls for a strike and all this thing happens because petrol is a critical thing, right? And that is nothing but carbon. The gas which we use in our home, the LPG gas, we call this guy as LPG gas, right? Which our mom used for cooking. This is also made of carbon. I think with this you can understand the necessity for carbon in our life, right? So you start with your day uh, with the toothbrush. The toothbrush thing generally is made of plastic that's carbon. You go to a shopping mall, you do shopping. You come with some carry bags, also carbon. Your clothes get dirty, you wash them with detergents, also carbon. You take bath with soap, that's carbon. Your food is prepared using LPG gas, that's carbon. You drive car or you, you go to school in bus, everything runs on petrol and that's carbon. Right? So carbon, the sweets which you eat in the sweet shop during festivals or during normal time also, the pastries, the cakes, everything is carbon. So carbon has a very critical importance in our life. In the exams, you write on paper, that's carbon. You write with a pencil, that's carbon. You erase with something, that's carbon. So most of the thing is a carbon, right? So carbon has a very, very critical importance in our day-to-day -day life. In spite of the fact that it's only 0.02%, but it has a critical role to play in our life. And that's the reason we have a special branch of chemistry that deals only with carbon. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.